Hi everyone. Well, we are on our Saturday stroll, so we're going to take a little walk through the greenhouse. But first, be sure to say hi. Let us know that you're watching. And uh, go ahead and comment throughout this video uh, what you like, what you like seeing. Um, and go ahead and just let us know that that you're uh, that you're checking it out and enjoying the 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 view, the flowers, and um, we'll it, we'll kind of keep the talking to a minimum. But I'll I'll go through and I'll describe uh, a few of the things. But let's get turned around here. And so we're in our front greenhouses. Um, so as you walk into our greenhouses, this is our sales area, and everything's looking really good. We're we're going to be opening up this week. So of course we're we're still trying to get ready. But I'll just go through and really show and point out some of the flowers and highlight some of them and, you know, grab a cup of coffee and just enjoy the stroll. Some of these hanging baskets look amazing. Absolutely love this verbena and this combination planter with the petunias and the verbena. I think that's absolutely stunning. All kinds of geraniums. What is your favorite color geranium? Do you like the traditional reds? Do you like pinks? Do you like the hot pink or the lighter pink? There's some salmon colors. This is a really cool color of the Calibricoas, also known as Million Bells. This is the Cha Cha series. Has a really unique flower. We mix this one with the purple, the light purple. Back into the geraniums. We love this Rocky Mountain series. Probably my favorite is this Rocky Mountain Violet. If you look at it, there's kind of a different coloration as it's coming through uh, from the, the flower petals, the, uh, the throat of the flower. It's almost like an orange thing goes into that really brilliant hot pink. It's very visible even at night. This is actually the Rocky Mountain Orange. Lots of hanging baskets all around. They're looking great. I mean, they're they're little right now, but but they're. I mean, it's only April too, so they're coming along fantastic. But potato vines, vinca vine. I see some color on the Gabera daisies finally. They're just, just gonna be popping some color here this week. Gerbera daisies are one of the few outside plants that can be brought indoors. So yes, you can bring your Gerbera daisies inside during the winter time and they do help clean the air. Dahlias are showing color I think these dahlias are absolutely stunning. I'm 
some really hot colors in the dahlias. Thunbergia is a very aggressive climbing vine. Customers that have it absolutely love it. Also known as climbing black-eyed Susan. And they are full sun. They, that's one, one plant that absolutely does have to be in the full sun. Candy corn vine is just starting, it's, it's vining up, it's, it's, it's climbing, but there's just a little bit of color here and you can see why it's called candy corn vine. You can see the, the color it looks like little pieces of candy corn. Similar in looks is the kufia. This is one of the number one flowers that the hummingbirds love. This is kufia. And one of the other number one is, of course, the fuchsias. They're finally blooming. Fuchsias are slower growing, so you gotta give them time. They look fabulous. I mean, they're really branching out and filling out. They're a little bit slower growing though. We have a lot of variety in hanging baskets. We do every year. Um, and with as early as it is, I'm really happy with how the hanging baskets have turned out. They're looking just fantastic. This is that Vista series. This is gonna be the biggest. Uh, if you're looking for the most bang for the buck, it's gonna be this series right here, the Vista series. That's um, proven winners. This bubble gum, there's three different colors in this series. So that's the bubble gum, there's a hotter pink, and then a white. But that's, you will not see the hanging basket pot. Um, that'll be four or five feet in diameter. They get absolutely huge. <laughs> Portalaca or the moss roses, they probably will not be peeking out today. There's a few little buds on them, a few little flowers, but they're one that the flowers open and close with the sunshine. So with the overcast today, probably not gonna see anything. Popcorn plant. So if you come on our greenhouses, Grab a popcorn plant, ruffle the leaves like this. It smells like popcorn. Honest to goodness, it's it's so cool. It smells like popcorn, and uh, it gets it gets very tall. It gets about four feet tall, and it looks like buttered popcorn. The flowers do. So it's it's really weird that it looks like buttered popcorn, and when you ruffle and smell the leaves, it actually smells like popcorn. Heliotrope is one of my favorites. Another very fragrant flower. So it has these purple, um, these purple flowers here. Kind of smells like vanilla to me. It's a nice tall plant. You can use it as a, a nice high piece if you're doing a combination planter. Citronella is another smeller. It smells absolutely beautiful with the uh, kind of that lemony citrusy smell. So that's citronella. Helps keep the mosquitoes away. Into our begonias, dragon wings, angel wing begonias. We have an apple blossom. And it, it actually smells like apple blossoms. Very fragrant. These Rex begonias are really unique. Really unique foliage.
to our proven winners, our super petunias. Glaucoma is a um, creeping Charlie vining. Uh, it's not the invasive type, uh, but a lot of people use this in hanging baskets or just as an accent plant, and it does help keep the mosquitoes away. Sun and patience, just starting to show some color. We love this one with the variegation in the leaf. Or salvia. We have three different colors of salvia in these proven winners. This is a tall salvia. So that burgundy, the light blue, and then this purple color. Sun coleus. Love the variation in the sun coleus. Look at some of these. Couple of different colors of verbena. Lobelia. You ever notice that Lobelia looks like a little butterfly? Fanflower, also known as scavola. This is a great filler to use. Put it right in the middle of a combination planter and it just pokes these pretty little uh, fan flowers out all over. Just give you a little pop of color. San Vitalia, bright little yellow flower. Trinia. We have just the two colors of the Trinia. This is the soup. We, we refer to it as super alyssum. It's a very, very aggressive alyssum. Couple different colors of the ageratum. Osteospermum. A lot of flowers are closed up today because it's so overcast. Straw flower, another favorite because the deer don't like it. It's actually a crunchy, uh, so they don't like nip uh, munching on it. Lasts a long time too. You can use it as a cut flower, 
It just dries out and it just stays put. But again, they're all closed up because there's no sunshine today. Really popular flower for us is the lantana. Full sun, not a perennial here. A lot of our followers down in Florida know that it is a perennial down there. There's um, lantana all over the place down there. Lots of really cool colors of the lantana. Animals stay away from it. These are our mounding petunias. So just kind of a medium vigor on the, the growing habit. So these are, uh, there's a whole bunch of our mounding petunias. How do you like this night sky with the, fr the, uh, the flecks of white in the flower? coral and then into our black petunias black petunias are you a fan yay or nay you know a lot of customers love the black petunias they're stunning when you mix them with like a white uh like fan flower or lobelia or alyssum and that white just really helps pop pop the color of the dark petunia The blueberries, the blueberries and cream. This is Capella Cherry um, Vanilla. We get a lot of people asking about these. This is Plectranthus. Another mosquito beater, just a natural mosquito beater. It has, has a scent to it. They don't like it. This grows up pretty big. So we like to tell our customers, just put it in a pot by itself. It gets really big. It'll grow way, way, way up and then it'll vine down. Put it on your porch or wherever, if you're sitting out on a porch and area, a living area, helps keep the mosquitoes away. As does this glaucoma or the creeping Charlie. Okay, into our shade lovers, our tuberous begonias. This is the homilus series. This has much smaller, more petite flowers. Where the traditional tuberous begonias have bigger flowers, but less. There's some really cool colors. Got a little bit of deadheading to do here today on these. Just go through and clean them up. This has a dark leaf with that real, um, it's not a red, it's an, actually it's an orange. This is probably my favorite, this color here. Valentino pink. And then into your traditional tuberous begonias. All right, we're going to head into this house. Our big starter veggie plants. Lots of tomatoes and peppers and cucumbers going. They're already nice size. This Mayan sunset. This is this is in our 10-inch hanging baskets. This color is just stunning. A 
This is that Amore series. This is in the Picatee series. It has kind of a white halo around. How do you like this? Lots of impatience, their wax begonias, all our bedding plants. This is a Sanguna, the mega hot pink. This gets a very big flower on it. So these get massive. How big this is already. It's a 10 inch hanging basket. It's probably bigger than many others 12 inch hanging basket. Little bit of color starting to pop on our double impatience hanging baskets. Just a little bit. These like partial shade, so if you have partial shade, this is a good, um, a good hanging basket for you. A few different colors. But it's a double impatient. And you can see this is just loaded. All of these are, are flowers. The little buds are getting ready to, to blossom. And it's just loaded, so probably this week those will be popping. Healthy little cucumbers. Do not put your cucumbers outside yet, at least not here. Cucumbers are very, very fickle and they will give up the ghost very easily, even on like a 40 degree night. So keep your cucumbers inside until it's safe to plant. Potato vine getting big. Slosha. These are just bedding plants, Slosha. Slosha is a full sun. One of my favorites is the polka dot plant. This needs shade, partial to full shade. So hypostasis is the name. We got all the variation in the in the leaves. Does need to be in the shade though. On to our coleus, our bedding plant coleus. Full sun to shade. They really don't care.
Dusty Miller, always a nice little accent plant. Into our bedding plant, Salvia. A nice hot red. missing some of these hanging baskets up above here too this one has actually like little polka dots on many of the flowers Singuna blue Adjuratum. And next to the potato vine, this is actually licorice. This gets very big. A lot of customers use this because uh, the deer don't like licorice. It's just kind of a vining. It's just, it is what it looks like. It's, it's that's how it turns out, but it does get pretty big. We showed our double petunias Oh, maybe a week ago and boy everybody loved this double petunia Blueberries and cream. Happy little um, bedding plant verbenas are just starting to flower. I love using the bedding plant verbena just as a nice little accent plant when I'm doing a combination planter. Lots of different colors. This verbena in the hanging basket is so bright. Just a hot pink with that purple mixed in. Some snapdragons. We have both the short snapdragons and the taller snapdragons. So this snapshot mix, this is the shorter. The Liberty Classic is the taller snapdragon. Some more calabricoas in hanging baskets. This is Goodnight Kiss in the Cabaret series. Zinnias are not popping yet, but I see some buds, so they'll be getting ready. If I kind of zoom in here, you can see there's some buds in there. Some other buds here, so. Zinnials will be popping, I hope, this week. Into our bedding plant petunias. Lots of colors. Look at the color in those veins, the veins of this petunia.
pansies. Some of these pansies are have a ruffled flower to them. So some are straight and some are just have the kind of little ruffled edge to them. And some of our small hanging baskets, our eight inch hanging baskets. We have a lot of variety in those. How do you like this queen of hearts? Some mini petunias. I shared that the mini petunias are a great alternative to the calibricoas. If you have trouble with calibricoas, give the mini petunias a try. Fun house. Dianthus should be flowering this week. I see buds on the Dianthus. Little tiny buds in there. Again, I think this week we get some sunshine. Give them some beat your neighbor fertilizer, it'll be popping. We have for our shade lovers, we do eight inch baskets with the tuberous begonias. So we have a bunch of those growing. Tall marigolds. So these are the Incas. Lots of buds and just starting to show some color. So these are the taller marigolds. Into the regular marigolds. Love this color of the hanging basket, this yellow throat on it. This is in the Capella series. And back to more marigolds.
Angelonia. No flowers on them yet. Another one for uh, the, the deer typically don't munch on those. Vinca. I did see some flowers. I see some buds on them, so they'll be hopefully, uh, here's a flower. Vinca is a heat and drought tolerant flower. Looks like, looks just like an impatient, the flower does, but they can handle that full blasting sun. Some more beautiful little hanging baskets here. I think this one is just absolutely stunning. Even with the overcast like this, the flower is just radiant. So you can see we have a lot of variety here and um, we'll be opening up this week. So come on on down, come on up probably to Krivitz. We're in uh, Krivitz, Wisconsin, and we literally have thousands of hanging baskets uh, ready to roll um, for you to check out. And so we'll be opening up this Thursday at 9 a.m. So we hope to see you all then. Bye-bye.